good afternoon. I guess this video is mostly for the Carolina Brotherhood, but if anyone else is curious about how I added lights and some solar and some other self-sustaining electrical 12 volt stuff to this 24 foot trailer, follow along. All right, so last year I tried to wire those uh, st string lights you had, strip lights to, uh, to this switch, which was, keyword was, going to the, the, the plug that, that plugs into the truck. And then we found out that not all trucks have that wire hot. So I said, okay, we need light in here. It'd be nice to have some other electrical. So we're just gonna give it its own electrical system. So without further ado, Look at all that light. All right, so I had to turn that light on because it's already getting kind of dark, but I'll show you how this works in case something happens on the road and you need to reverse engineer what it is that I did. So here we go. All right. So the heart of the system is back here now. At the front of the trailer, we have a Type 24 deep cycle battery. Um, I think, according to the internet, see, 690 maximum cranking amps. I think this thing, according to the internet, is like 700 amp hour battery at 12 volts. And all those numbers will make sense here in a little bit. All right, so this battery is going into the trailer's own fuse block. And you can see there's two circuits right now. Interior lights, which you just saw work, and DC outlet, and I'll show that here in a second. But keep this battery from going dead for the other 11 months out of the year come over here this is a Poaxi um, solar uh, solar charge controller and I will show you where that's going to but this thing should charge while in the Sun but also maintain the battery while it's in storage so let me let me show you that here Okay, let's try. All right. So, what I mean by that is, if you come up here, it's a solar panel, and the wire, wire that goes down into the trailer. All right. So that is a 20 watt solar panel. It's not just a trickle charger. That is a 20 watt solar panel. So it'll harvest a maximum of 20 watts from the sun. If, for whatever reason, all the lights and whatever you're using is more than 20 watts, it's going to drain the battery. And then once you're done using the electrical in the trailer, it'll recharge at a rate of 20 watts per whatever. I don't know. So. Yeah. So let's go back here again. Okay, so you got 20 watts coming through this thing. And remember, at 12 volts, that's probably what, amp and a half? So the solar panel will put about an amp and a half into this battery. That's about how much juice it'll put out or back into the battery. So keep that in mind. All right, so the battery, big honking positive and negative cables, comes over here to the fuse block. Let's look at the lights. All right, interior lights, fused at 10 amps. Comes around here. And we went back into this switch. So this is now coming off the battery. It's not coming off the truck, it's coming off the battery. You flip this switch on, interior lights come on throughout the whole trailer, all the way to the gate. Uh, let's see, these are 8 watt per, and there's 13 of them in here, so it's a lot. It's around 100 watts. Yeah, it's around 100 watts of light. So, uh, yeah, 100 watts of light, about 10 amps that all this is pulling. So, just, alright, 
So this is about 100 watts of light. So you know how I said that's a 20 watt solar panel on the roof? So look at it this way. 100 watts of light, 20 watts of solar. So for every minute you run these lights, you need to get five minutes of sun to replenish the power you used by running these lights. You need five minutes of sun, give or take, in ideal conditions, to put juice back into the battery to replenish what these lights took out of the battery. Does that make sense? Five minutes of sun to put into the battery for every minute that you use lights taking out of the battery. All right? All right. So let's go ahead. Let's walk all the way around here. There you go. Lights, 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 lights. All the way down. All the wires are run along the curb side. I got some... Eh, it's, 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 it's not... The most professional job in the world, but it should keep all the wires out of the way while people are loading and unloading totes. Alright, so that's the lights. Oh, and if something gets bumped, these lights all have individual switches on them just because they do. Um, so if one of these lights isn't working, check the little button right here. Alright, so you got lights. Yay, you have lights for all those early morning, late night loads and unloads. You got lights. Alright. Now the other thing that you got, I found this in here, and I asked a couple guys, they're like, ooh, yeah, can you put that in while you're at it? Sure thing. So this inverter, which granted it's rated all the way up to 1500 watts, I'm not, you're not going to, 1500 watts would take that battery down like 30 seconds. Don't do the math, it, I'm being, uh, 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 whatever. Um, so it's fused at... 20 amps, so this is about a 240 watt inverter now. So again, 20 amps, and that's about an amp and a half that you get from the sun. So every minute, every minute that you run this inverter, you're gonna need about 20 minutes of full sun to put power back into the battery that you used in this. So for every minute you run this, you need 20 minutes of solar. For every minute of light, you need five minutes of solar. You run everything together, you need 25 minutes of solar for every minute that all this stuff is running. But what this allows you to do, all right, inverter's on. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, look at that box fan. Look at that box fan. 150 watts. That's a whatever whatever box fan. I don't know why that thing's beeping at me. But there you go. You could run a fan. Oh, see that's beeping. Why is that beeping? I wonder if there's like inrush current or something. Oh well, turn it off, beeping stops. Alright, so maybe a fan's a little much. Maybe use a smaller fan. Get a desk fan? Desk fan would probably work. Maybe that fan's a bit much. Because rotating equipment always has inrush current. So maybe it didn't like the inrush current. Anyways, be careful using that. Because you can take the battery down really quick by plugging stuff into that. Because, yeah, regular household appliances start drawing a lot of current really fast. So be careful using that. Okay. Uh, so that's it. I showed you the battery. I showed you the solar charge controller. I showed you the fuse block, I showed you the lights, I showed you the inverter. Oh, got a little plastic tote here that is the spare fuses and some spare wiring stuff that came with the fuse block and the solar charger. That'll be in here somewhere. And then this is all your old um, uh, rope light or whatever. I salvaged it and it's in this other little tote which is also in this thing. So, I don't know. You set up some. You can still set up some party lights one of these days if you want to. So, I think that's it. I think this video is a lot simpler than trying to text a bunch of people to explain it. So, if you have any questions, several of you guys have my cell phone number. Give me a shout. I'll try to meet up with you at some point along the route. Hope. 
hope everything works out. If it doesn't, you know how to find me. Have a good ride.